Ben Bernanke has a new adversary in Congress, Republican Ron Paul. He will now chair a committee overseeing the central bank. And Congressman Ron Paul joins us now on the phone from Texas. Congressman, it's always a pleasure to have you with us on the program. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Good to be with you. One of the themes on this program has been that we expect, I'm forecasting, that the Federal Reserve will buy municipal bonds as an end run around Congress so that they can bail out states. You won't let them do that, will you? Well, I wish I could say absolutely I won't allow them to do it, but uh, I'm afraid your prediction might come true, and it might take us a year to figure out how they did it, <laughs> who they gave the money to, and ask them to buy it. So sometimes they do those things indirectly. So this is not out of the question, because a theme on this program has always been, look, these states are very close to bankruptcy, insolvency at any rate. They need a bailout, or they're going to demand a bailout. They're not going to get it from Congress, and I think they may get it from the Federal Reserve. I know you oppose that, but you're saying it is a possibility. Oh, sure. I think it's already started. I mean, they have received, the states have already received $40 billion. I, in California, $8.9 billion to deal with their pension funds. But it comes out of the system. But the system has to have the funds, and the Fed wasn't inflating and making this available. Uh, you know, the, the, the uh, insurance funds wouldn't have it. So indirectly, they're doing this, and I think they will. I mean, if they can bail out General Motors and everybody else, they're, they're going to bail out the states. I, I never doubt for a minute that they won't bail them out, but it's also the reason that we can anticipate a dollar crisis and higher interest rates in the future. That's extraordinary stuff, sir. I think you might have broken some news for us right here on Varney and Company, and we appreciate it. Let okay. me move on to you, the, the first hearings that you hold with you as chairman of this committee. Will you invite Ben Bernanke to appear before you right off the get-go? Well, I hadn't planned to do that because I don't know exactly what day that's going to be. But, uh, you know, he's obligated to come before our committee at least twice a year, and he also comes before the Joint Economic Committee. Um, but we will pr be pursuing those things which I have been working on for a long time, and that is to working on the, on the audit, more information, more transparency, find out what they're doing, and when the questions pop up, uh, we expect to hear from them. And uh, how that will transpire exactly, I'm not as positive about that, but... We will be pursuing the information that we believe we have an, an entitlement to. Congressman, one last one for you. The $600 billion purchase program by the Federal Reserve of Treasury debt, supposed to bring Treasury interest yields down, failed so far. Yields have gone up. You want to try to explain that one for us? Well, I think that can only be explained through Austrian economics because uh, those people who look at projections through a computer, they can't predict human action. Sometimes governments do such a thing and such things, and it will cause one reaction. Later on, it might be something else. There was a time in the, in the 70s when gold became legalized, Treasury dumped gold and the IMF dumped gold to keep the price down to show that gold wasn't important. Actually, it spurred the gold price. So this happens all the time, uh, that uh, they make predictions, and if they think just printing money is always going to lower interest rates, uh, they're on the wrong track because it's a very bad sign. When you say you're going to print a lot of money and interest rates go up, that's a sign that the dollar is in trouble. Yes, sir. Congressman Ron Paul, it's always a pleasure to have you with us on Varney and Company. We appreciate it. I know you're a busy man, so see you next time. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.